Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor, and I'm here with my father, Kevin. And today we are doing my personal favorite Arctic Monkeys album, which uh, is not everybody's personal favorite. Uh, this one is a uh, it's it's a little bit of a controversial one. I think it's aged well. More people have started to like it as mm -hmm. time has gone on. But I remember when it came out, the fan base was very divided. Uh, a lot of people loved it. A lot of people hated it. You liked AM, correct? I liked both albums. Favorite Worst Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. You, you liked and AM. I, like I even learned a couple of the songs. Yes, you learned the guitar. riffs. I learned um, the riffs. So there's nothing like either of those projects. Okay. Which is probably why it was kind of, uh, you know. Divided. Divided amongst the uh, fan base. Mm -hmm. It's a concept album. Okay. I've, I've briefly talked to you about yeah, this a little bit. I, I, I love the concept of it. And I, you know, I like concept albums and I like, uh, I loved, I loved uh, slow, the slow rush because of that concept of time. So yeah. I, so this is even more of a concept album, I would say. Okay. Um, whereas the slow rush is like time is kind of the theme theme. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is like an actual concept. So oh, okay. Alex Turner, the lead singer of the band is a lounge singer on or in i should say a fictional hotel and casino on the moon <laughs> was somebody fucking baked when they did this i don't know <laughs> um and he is uh kind of singing in this this loungy lounge rock casino sounding mm -hmm. hotel music while he's commentating on personal things, on life, on religion, on uh, the world below him. Yeah, um, Inter it's very interesting technology. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It's a uh, it's my favorite Archie Monkeys album because it really does feel like you're being transported to uh, this Uranus. casino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Tranquility Base, which I was telling mm -hmm. you about today, which is the uh, the actual. I didn't know that was the name. Yeah, that's where it comes from. It's yeah. the the landing site when, yeah. in 1969 when the Americans went to the moon. Yeah, I'm excited to show you this record. I'm excited too because it's uh, it 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 seems like it's a very vast departure from the 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 heavy guitar riffs, big drums that I've been used to in these yeah the last there, two there's, albums. There's not really that many guitar riffs. Uh, not. Had no heavy drums, really. Um, so I might be in the different mood for this because I'm fucking hyper today. Oh, then yeah, you might not. In I'm jacked, like I'm. Then maybe we'll have to go. Do <laughs> it. I'll change albums. Okay, guys, we're gonna pause. We're yeah. gonna restart the video. Can we do <laughs> Rihanna? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't know. You might not like it. I like it, but a lot of people, some people, still don't like it. So uh, yeah. we'll see. Okay. Track number one, Star Treatment. Fucking sounds incredible. Mm -hmm. The music. I just wanted to be one of the strokes. Now look at the mess you made me make. Here ain't no place for dolls like you and me. Everybody's on a barge floating down the endless stream of great TV. Maybe I was a little too wild in the 70s. So who you gonna call? To be one of those ghosts You thought that You could forget But it's alright Cause you love me And you recognize That it ain't how it should be Don't you know an apparition Is a cheap day What exactly is it You've been drinking these days And it's dark enough to dance What do you mean Blade Runner. Yeah. <laughs> I was, was going to say that earlier. We've talked about it too much, though, eh? Yeah. 
The music is fucking fantastic. Like, it's really nice and clear, man. I read that the Martini Police is the name of the fictional band that he plays. Oh, okay. For. Okay. is really really mesmerizing yeah like it's and that is the start of the album and that is star treatment well i have to say very 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 original and uh very different from the last record we heard <laughs> the only thing that i can is is the only thing that I that makes me feel connected to the Arctic Monkeys here is is Turner's voice. That's it. Yes. That's it. Like everything else is like, ding 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 ding. That all that like I was you know boom, like it's gone. Yeah. The guitars are gone and stuff like that. Um, I'm glad you set it up and let me know that it was like in space and it was a concept album and all that because I would have been really like super, lost with the lyrics. Super lost with the lyrics, right? Um, but you know it's he's got. I'm going to say he because I'm talking about Turner singing right now. He's got Bowie elements, but he doesn't. Mm -hmm. There's bits of Bowie in there, and I know because he, of the way he's speaking of space. And not too many sp people have ever spoke as, I think, in rock has done, like, you know, Ziggy Stardust, all the space stuff, right? Space-themed songs. Yeah, yeah, like... like um, Albums. Yeah, like um, like Bowie, right? Uh, but there's parts of his voice that he's, you can see that he's 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 got the Some Bowie the feel. Inflections, yeah, yeah. yeah and that, all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, it, that was a hard one to get under. To be honest with you, it was uh, maybe it's it, it's a it's, it's what they call it a grower, not a, a shower. A grower, yeah, no, a shower, yeah. I don't, a grower, not a shower, is uh, in reference to uh, like genitals, I believe. But, uh, <laughs> well, um, okay, but you, you, know, <laughs> you know what I mean, though, right? Yeah, like it's yeah, because it's maybe it'll it'll grow on me. It's not showing me right now. Yeah, right. That's where I'm using the <laughs> no, yeah, that's that, where I'm using that term right now. Well, you can see why people were so put off when this came out because you know coming off of am with the heavy riffs and the yeah. heavy uh Bird drums down, 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 yeah, down, 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 yeah the crazy drums and the solos and yeah it's like you know track one all of that is just gone yeah and uh but kudos to them for that artistically it's really cool lyric pattern it was was tough for me to sort of get around because um, it just, it didn't have that, it didn't have a super melodic thing, but that could be something that grows on you. But musically for me, it sounded really, really cool. Yeah. Track number two, One Point Perspective. Dancing my underpants, I'm gonna run for government, I'm gonna form a covers band and all. I fantasize, I call it quits I swim with the economist By the time reality hits The chimes of freedom fell to bits The shining city and the fritz They come out of the cracks Thirsty for blood I gotta say, I'm loving, loving, loving the music. I'm just feeling disjointed with the melodies. Well, there's some guitar. We got some. But you know what I'm picturing through this thing is the is the scene in the casino of Blade Runner, yeah, 2040, yeah. Nice orchestration there. I'm just going to 
going to pause it there okay. because it flows into the next track. Oh, it just goes flows nicely. Music is great. You just it's tough for you with the no, the, just the, just the the, the, lyrical the lyrics and the lyric and the and the melodies, right? It's it's they I could hear something Alex Turner do something amazing over top of these songs, right? The dancing in my underpants is a great way to start. <laughs> yeah. But again, it's like it's I don't know, you, you know, you and I spoke about this about uh the books you're reading. The Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, Song and stuff of like that. Fire. Yeah, so there's, there's, for me, there's a, there's a, 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 an area that I just don't like to dive into where it's too far. You know what I mean? Like it's, mm-hmm. it's too far fantasy for me, right? So for me, it's like, I got it. It would help if I was really stoned or something. Maybe I don't know. You know what I mean? To get well, the, I, I think the thing with these lyrics is, your first listen, I, I wouldn't read too much into them because. Yeah. It's. I was going over them the other day in preparation for this, and yeah, yeah. There's a lot that um, requires you to read what Alex Turner actually meant, because um, there's one line I forget which song it's off, and I forget the line exactly, but it's like I've never met so many Lolas or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, what the fuck does that mean? And yeah, It's yeah. like I think it's a chorus, or and. Um, it's from, it's from a book, like it's, oh, okay. it's referenced from a book. And then when he's talking about like the martini police, uh, there's, you know, he explains it, uh, in an interview, what he means by it. like each lyric has some type of meaning to it. They all do make sense. They're not just thrown some, in there. Some made up shit to kind of sound <laughs> fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, the Jesus in the day spa. I think there's another line talking about how he, they've reached this point in technology where you're able to have God on a video call. Like yeah. have his, I have my weekly chat with God on video call yeah, yeah. and uh, kind of showing how religion is obsolete in this fantasized world. world yeah. Uh, and it shows that Jesus is just at the spa signing a form to go to the gym. Oh, okay. Like, okay. So yeah. it's like these, these lines without, knowing anything about them kind of sound just so what do you what do you suggest what's the best way to move forward we're on track two is to sort of like go through the lyrics but just feel the songs i guess yeah right? yeah i mean don't like try to overanalyze it, overanalyze yeah. every lyric because you're not going to get every lyric on first listen it's yeah uh, i know i know because you know it comes from like that space again of me loving lyrics it's like the slow, the slow rush for me was an album that i really connected with yeah read the lyrics and felt it and it was just like wow it just i've gone back to that album since right mm-hmm. i keep listening to it and uh, mac miller obviously you know and there was even parts of lacy right yes yeah. steve, uh, steve lacy um but this one here it's just it's because it's 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 so so different and so lyrically different yeah, yeah it's just lyrically different the music i love like i seriously the music is great and it's like there's orchestral parts and pianos and there's it's just really really nice but it's just hard to get that um, that emotional feeling mm-hmm. that that i usually get right so is it too too early for me to say I want to go back to the five hundred five? <laughs> no, it's uh, yes, it is too early because we're only two tracks. In. Okay, <laughs> track number three, American Sports. So when you gaze at the planet Earth from outer space, does it wipe that stupid look off of your face? And I never thought. In a million years That I meet so many lovers Could I please have my money back My virtual reality mask Just in time for my weekly chat With God on video call I fucking, again, I love the music so much in this, right? Then I think you'll grow to like the album Like the mix, listen to that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like all this, oh, those little. Like that synth piece going on. There, yeah, yeah. Guitar, I mean. The, that all that. Oh, yeah. Not in a million years. So I, I think if if you 
like the way this sounds, I think this album will grow on you the more you do some research into the lyrics. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people were turned off, not by the lyrics per se, but by just the sound. They didn't like the sound. Oh, I think the sound's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. It's great. Because people were like, this doesn't sound anything like AM, you know? Yeah. Or like it's fucking AM was very, you know, heavy pop, rocky. It was yeah. like, it was very accessible. They were like, this fucking sounds nothing like it. I don't like the yeah. sound. And I was kind of in the same boat of uh, the lyrical thing. I was like, I love the sound of this album. I like mm -hmm. the way it sounds. I just don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. But then the more I listen to it and the more I read into it and and, and I'm like, oh shit, this is actually a fantastic record. There's the, the lyrics are um, going over my head uh, the first few times, you know, like I, I and then I, 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 yeah, I, I'm, I'm lost with things. Like I, some of the stuff I've made, you know what I mean? It sounds like right here for me, it sounds like he's fucking, he bet a bunch of money, right? Mm -hmm. I lost the money, lost his keys, but I'm still handcuffed to the briefcase. Uh, it looks like he's, to me, it sounds like he was bet. I thought he was betting on American sports. Yeah. So the thing with, uh, right? that's, I guess, tough to understand with the lyrics on this record is, that it is written in a fictional world. Yeah. So there's like having a conversation with God uh, over video call, which is what you said. It's yeah. That, yeah. That's that's on, that's on that song. So it's, it's for like, it's for the listener to really do their homework. Yes. If they want to figure it out. Yeah. If the, if you really want to, if you like it, and you're like, oh, I, this is interesting. I want to figure out what he's talking about. You know. Yeah. Th then it's yeah. It's it's kind of up for the listener. It's not. Uh, are you mine or uh, I want to be yours where it's just pretty straightforward on those songs where yeah. it's like you read the lyrics and you're like I get it I understand yeah, yeah. what he's he, are you mine you know, yeah it's, yeah it's nothing. yeah it's just here it is this is the way it is right yeah but it, I, again I'm, uh, it, musically the three tracks we've listened to have been fucking phenomenal like mm -hmm. the music Alex Turner's voice the d disjoint for me again is the lyrics and sometimes stretching too hard and not having a really a, a, any type of a melody where you could really you're fucking going to sing it and you're going to get that because I feel like the music is just so good that it could have been I don't know it could have been steered you could have you could keep the lyrical pattern uh, the sorry the lyrics that you have but the melody is a little bit yeah you know what well, I mean we, you'll, you'll see that I mean you had that same feeling when you listened to Blonde by Frank Ocean remember yeah yeah true you said I like the lyrics I just don't like the way He's kind of coming in off yeah, time oh yeah. and stuff, so you never know. I mean, yeah, yeah. But we'll go to track four, which okay. is the title track. Track number four: Tranquility Base, Hotel, and Casino. I love that kick drum there by itself. Yeah. See this. It's, Man, sonically it sounds Beautiful. fucking in Jesus in the bass bar. Fuck it. Just got a head just popping out to sing a protest song. I've been on a bender back to that prophetic esplanade. But just managed to miss the that sounds a, that was a Bowie's mark. Yeah. Tranquility base. Hotel and casino. This magical thinking. Feels as if it really might catch on. This is my favorite track so far. Mm. Yeah. What's the moon side move? <laughs> Oh my 
got R two D two going there, crazy. Yeah. At the end, that's my favorite track. That so was far. Yeah, so far in this as a album. The lyrics weren't too. There were. Much. Well, you said you you let me know a little bit. Jesus in the day spa film that that was sort of like that, that helped me, right? Yeah. Because well, that, I think that's the thing with this album is is if you like how it sounds musically, I think you just need to give it some time lyrically and, and do a yeah. little bit of research and yeah. like spend it uh, an hour listening to it or more than an hour, but like two hours listening to it and clicking on each thing on genius and reading it. Yeah. 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 Like, Oh fuck, that's genius. That's great. Oh, that's a cool line. That's that's smart there. And, uh, and then you realize, fuck, this is a great concept album. The the thing I liked about this one here is that, um, for me right away, right off the mark and right through, it was the melody. Yeah. The melody was like something that, and it fit with the music and it was just like the other ones. I felt that the, the melody was uh, disjointed. And something else should be sung there. Just a feeling, right? You, uh, and so this one here, it found like both guys were married. They meshed, yeah. they meshed together, right? Um, music is great, though, man. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm curious though. Is like this? How much is this played in the live shows? Like how much? Because it's, it would, it's such a nothing has been really up tempo, right? So mm. do people, the, the real Arctic Monkeys fans, you can tell, um, do they yearn for it at the show and go, "Fuck, I want to hear that," or do they want to hear the more? Uh, I mean, they've got a pretty large discography, so I think yeah. people kind of want stuff from every era. Yeah. But um, like we heard from the newest single, or not the newest single, but the first single off the upcoming album, um, it sounded like they took elements from the car, or from Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino, and brought them to the car, but yeah. without this science fiction concept so yeah. i think uh if you're liking this sound i think the car might be i only i've only heard two tracks but yeah i think that might be an album that's gonna be up the car early. is not concept right it's like uh there might be concept i don't know yeah, yeah. i have no idea yet <laughs> what is that's coming out in 21st right yeah next week or the is week it next after. oh my god it is over soon yeah or the week after i think I yeah know. track number five is titled golden trunks <laughs> Last night were well, my psychics Subcommittee sent to me in its scary voice True love takes a grip, it leaves you without a choice Sometimes I fantasize about you too That was cool. Mm-hmm. Look, everything musically about this record is really cool and unique. Even the vocal mixing. Oh, I was just going to say, the, the harmonies that he's using right now. Oh, a very, very queen yeah. production there. That's uh, that's actually my least favorite off the record. Um, I was going to say that's probably my least favorite so far. Um, again, I got to say, if you if up to this point, well, the exception of the the last song, um, the title track, the title track, uh, uh, I would listen to this as an instrumental all the way through. Mm. Like it's really sonically really really good, and it's like uh, fucking the the guitar in there it had that 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 fuzz I was talking about the Steve Lacey fuzz that and, and Mike Dean fuzz. It wasn't really dirty. It had that guitar in yeah. there. It had the synths in there. It was really well really well mixed. But I didn't just feel I didn't feel much. I yeah, no. If if it means anything, that's my it's still my least favorite track, and yeah. it, it hasn't grown on me. Yeah, um, I like the rest of the album though. But okay, uh, that tracks doesn't do much for me so we'll just keep going <laughs> i'm not gonna try to, this is one i'm not gonna try to convince you to somehow like you know i'll just uh, we'll yeah. just move on to uh four out of five track number six four out of five Woo! 
See, uh, again, fuck, I sound like a broken record. The fucking music sounds fantastic. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. I was just going to say, can you, you have to like this This track. is what I was waiting for. I pictured all that in my head. Yeah. Melody was fucking great. God, I love that line. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is what I'm thinking when, you know what I mean? Okay, they must play this one live. Yeah, this do. would be the one they, if I think they're gonna play it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, this is fucking really getting louder, eh? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was hoping with you. <laughs> That was fantastic. I love that song. That's fucking great. That was absolutely great, man. The, um, drums, l- lyrics, the the lyrics uh, were much more you. easier to follow, right? Mm-hmm. Much more easier to follow. His voice, the background vocals, it was super, super catchy. Um, paints a very well picture. Paints it, yeah. It's 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 really good. And reading along with it was really easy. There's certain things I don't get, but I'll hit on them. You know, I was. Listening to this song, this, this this one to me sounded like a melodic song that was meant, you know, on a on a on a which call it like on a concept mm-hmm. album, right? Yes. Yeah. The other ones, trying to figure out what it was when I'm listening to this. The other ones for me sounded like they were written for parts and sections of a movie, mm. like they're you know what I mean. They were more of a like the, not really. You're not really concentrating on the lyrics. You're watching what's going on on the screen and there's something else happening and you know what i mean there's some d- yeah. dialogue and that you hear it in the background right yeah which is sort of like what's what he's painting the picture as is that because a lot of people aren't listening to the lounge singers no they're not and they're they're walking hey fucking got drinks you got another martini pass me a cigarette hey, yeah. fuck him. you know what i mean and, yeah. and and so he's they just sit there and go you know and do their thing right well, um yeah th- no this one stood out for sure this and uh the title track and the, yeah yeah, um, and it's funny; those are the two tracks that are really that talk about the casino and the hotel the most. Oh, okay, really? So it seems like that's kind of what you like. Yeah, well, that's talking about what it is, right? Well, the other ones, it's refer- the, you know, it's referenced this you know fictional place, but it's more commentary on the world. Yeah, um, on society in this fictional place. universe, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, commentary on Earth and. And all that, whereas these ones are more about the casino, like come and relax. We got four stars out of five, and, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Jesus at the day spa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's like, I can see which ones you kind of gravitate towards. Yeah, but th- those other two were very w- much more melodic, though. Yes, you got to say they they had a, a catch right away. You're like that one right away. As soon as it started playing, and then he started singing the melody, and I'm like, oh fuck, you feel it. Yes, you, yeah, you feel it, right? It's, no, for um, sure. The, the ones like like Star Treatment and uh, One Point Perspective, they kind of sound like he's uh, he's. It's like a, a beautiful instrumental, and then he's kind of just rambling over it. Yeah, um, which I grew to like over yeah. multiple listens. So yeah, curious to see how this album you know grows on you. Yeah, in time, but because uh, the two songs that you've liked so far are yeah. the two ones that. I liked first listen. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's another two that I liked first listen, yeah. uh, or a couple others, but uh, I like the whole album now, except for Golden Trunks. So yeah, um, I'm curious to see how this album grows on you over okay. time. Track number seven, 
the world's first ever monster truck front flip. You need some tea after that? Yeah. You know, I, I, I gotta, I, I know what it is. Like, I'm just this, the bridge too, right here. Mm-hmm. For me, it reminds me of Broadway, Broadway shows. Mm. You know what I mean? Broadway yeah. shows and Broadway productions and stuff, which I'm not a fan of at all. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, I could see uh, what you mean by that. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not a fan of like uh, of like show tunes and and the phrasings that they use. You know, yeah, you know, like that whole. I've just never been uh, into like, that. I've never been into the what, where you go to a play and the people are singing and it's just that it's that type of that show phrasing and stuff like that. I mean, there's great. Don't get me wrong. There's fucking brilliant Broadway songs, right? Mm-hmm. But when the, you know when someone he's singing like he's sort of singing like it's a musical for me. Do you know what I mean? Where it's they're talking, you know, when they like Johnny, yeah. is it okay that we went, yeah, yeah, down to the store? Did we find the place? Did we know where we're going? I, I actually, yeah, I know. Do you know what I mean? Did now, you now that you point that out? I didn't even realize that, but it, it does kind of sound like that in s- some of these songs. Yeah, if you and I are like literally doing that, like you know, yeah, back and forth, like Connor. Are we going? Should we get there? Is there a place where we could get a sandwich tonight? Yeah, with tonight the, with the the music that that they're playing here. And yeah, that over top, I could see. Yeah, I, yeah you know, right. I get it. I, I get it. Actually, that's the, the for me. It's like it's it's. I don't know. It's 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 hard. The, my favorite part of that track, undoubtedly, was. Um, you and Lizzie in the summertime wrapping my mind around a lullaby. Mm-hmm. That was like, I was like, holy fuck, this is going to get great. And then the choruses was okay. And then, but it was just like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll hit me in a couple months or something. Maybe I get a fucking big fat joint and get stoned. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's two tracks you've liked so far. Yeah. Yeah. So that's always a good sign to an album. If, 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 you, if you like a couple tracks. Yeah. Um, at least with me. If I like a couple tracks, I tend to go back to them. Yeah. And then I kind of get curious. My mind gets curious. So I'll yeah. be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll give this one another. Another lesson. spin, yeah. And then I'm like, hmm, you know what? I didn't mind that part. That yeah, was good. Yeah. Maybe I'll give this one a spin too. And before yeah. you know it, it's uh, one of my favorite albums. So uh, next one is science fiction. I like this one. I don't know. We'll see how you feel. But uh, this is mm, track three out of four that I liked on my first listen. Track number eight. Science fiction. Religious iconography, disco lizard, tongue along your cheek, the rise of the machine. But the hand of harsh realities on grow. I want to stay with you, my love. The way some science fiction does Swamp monster with a heart on fall Connectivity <laughs> Swamp monster's got a heart on I want to make a simple point about peace and love But in a sexy way where it's not obvious At base, eh? Yeah. So I try to write a song to make you blue. The way some science 
So much great shit musically happening. The little run in the right ear. I I like this track a lot first listen. That was cool. I like it musically. I mean, I, I didn't. I didn't, again. I didn't connect with it uh, lyrically. Was the was the lyric pattern at least a little more? Yeah, yeah. No, the lyric pattern. And, um, I wanted. I want you. Uh, the chorus was. I want to stay with you, my love. The way that some science fiction does that, and it was a little bit more familiar. But you know, I'm realizing this for me is is uh, what album we listened to, and I loved it musically, and I didn't feel connected, and I still haven't really felt connected to it, which everybody called the album of the year. The airplane on the front cover. The singer. Oh, left. oh, yes. Uh, Black Country New Road. Yeah, Black Country New Road. from up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, musically it was great, but you weren't. I uh, just felt. I just found. I, I think. I. I think the singer felt the same thing because they left, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like I just, this ain't working. I'm getting out of yeah. here. Uh, I've got the same feeling with that. It's just like there's certain tracks. I remember that album. There was a couple of tracks that melodically and lyrically I sort of connected with and stuff like that but but other ones no no, other ones no yeah that's um this one had again fucking man the a plus 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 on the musical front and Alex Turner's voice it's just a disjoint right between the yeah the feelings you said it might grow on me like you know like my underwear did that one year I didn't shower yeah (laughs) (laughs) track number nine she looks like fun You got a straw and something tropical Wayne Manor, what a memorable NY Finally I can share with you through cloudy skies I really like the verses on this one. Yeah. I do love this last part. Yeah. Bass player's on fire in the song. Yeah. The whole album of bass players. Yeah, play. yeah. This is this is one where I really <clears throat> great music again. I'm gonna say it again. The music is fucking fabulous. Bass player kicking ass from the, like you said from the beginning i really like really 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 the like the verses yeah it's weird it's weird you just go oh you know what well the verses are not so hot right mm-hmm. um she looks like fun good morning she looks like fun cheeseburger she looks like fun snowboarding she looks like it's it's cool i just found it just really fucking heavy heavy chaotic compared to the verses right the verses were, were are just beautifully amazing. mixed and his vocals are really good right really cool vocal pattern on the on the verses as well yeah no it's a, it's it's a good one but again it's just uh i just didn't feel it okay we'll go to <laughs> um it's every track we get to my heart just just <laughs> breaks a little bit more <laughs> it shouldn't break you love the album I, I just i'm not feeling it <laughs> no no it's fine it's uh i told you before we started i said it's yeah 50 50 i mean yeah. you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it mm-hmm. and uh i don't love it and i don't hate it okay so you're the you're the you're just weird <laughs> <laughs> no i think i think it's great musically um and i i think he's he does a killer job i love his voice I think he's, it's just like, it's, there's a little bit too much of a show tune thing for me. Mm. And it's, that's cool if you, if you if love you that, like if that. you like that, right? But it's not your style. No. And I, I can't listen to like, I cannot listen to, I can't handle like Disney phrasings. Yeah. Yeah. You know? People are going to be pissed about that. Why? You just compared Alex Turner to Disney phrasing. <laughs> No, but you know what I mean? Show tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show tune that thing. I like, I, you know what I mean? It's, there's, there's, I don't know. It's, it's a fine line. 
there's a fine line of 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 doing things melodically that are really different and off the off right mm -hmm. back to again back to frank and 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 so many artists that we've heard and then this feels like it's just a little bit too much of a stretch to to be different, different. yeah i can so, see that track 10 bat phone Instrumental is just fucking sick. It, I know, it's I want to crank it. To describe this thing that you say we're all grandfathered in over a bucket of balls. I can recall. There's a nice little piece the of honky tonk piano yeah, there. The, In the concept of the song, for yeah, 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 no, and no, I like this. Uh, in my left ear. He hits that beautiful, yeah. Is that those? Yeah, I think so. This, the feel of this part right here, that bend and, and what they're doing reminds me of Batman, which is quite weird. <laughs> and those sounds, blink, blink, yeah. reminds me of the 60s. Pow! Crash! Yeah, wham! Boing! Okay, <laughs> what do you think of that one? <laughs> <laughs> Same feeling. It was yeah. It was it was good. It was it, like musically, it was fucking brilliant. Again, it was. I can hear these songs, like just I could listen to them just as tracks without vocals. Like I really, yeah. I could just crank them. Like I just want to crank it right up, right? But lyrically, didn't didn't pull you in. Well, no, it didn't it pull me in. And and we, you know, it just it's it's just it's the concept the feel of it. And we've talked about this enough, right? <laughs> Musically, I like Alex Turner's voice. I just I'm finding the disjoint again. Yeah, okay, but there well, was great spots in there. Was the one where he made me smile was the where his lyric was. Oh yeah, numerous times I recognized the glow in your low beams, numerous times. Yeah, that, that, that went up. Yeah, that's really cool there. Okay, we'll go to the last track. I believe the ultra treat ultra cheese is written from his perspective not uh in the science fiction world okay if i remember correctly and ultra cheese uh could be a lot of things could be because the song is supposed to be cheesy yeah or maybe because the moon is fucking people say it's made but it's nothing to, it's nothing to do with a wendy's burger no no i don't or, think so yeah track number 11 the ultra cheese Still got pictures of friends on the wall I suppose we aren't really friends anymore We'll be there at the back of the bar In a booth like we usually were Every time there was a rocket launch Or some big event What? Death I die. Real fifties swing, eh? Yeah. Starts a finish. It stays between us, Steinway and his sons. Cause it's the ultra cheap. I like that, the Steinway and Sons. Trust the politics to come around when you were just trying to orbit the sun. I love his voice in this one. I don't know what it. But the truth is, I'm probably not. If I ever was. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it so reminds me of hey like a 50s yeah like a I've done some things that I shouldn't have done but I haven't stopped loving you Okay, and that is Tranquility Base, Hotel, and Casino. Well, the Trees was, I, it, it wasn't cheesy. No, it was a great song. It was a great that's song. A, that's one of the, it's, the, for the people that don't like uh, Tranquility yeah. Base, uh, that's one of the, that's the main song that people go to. I, I saw someone on Twitter say, yeah. you know, Tranquility Base fucking sucks other than all the cheese. Yeah, I, you know what, I, I think it might be from, I'm thinking it's from the his perspective, you know, because it's per time. It's time that you went for a walk dressed like a fictional character from a place they called America in the Golden Age. Mm, yeah, and uh, I, I think there's something yeah. about the moon uh, rocket ships. And yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you might be right. Yeah, I mean, it's an album that's not for everybody, and yeah. uh, it might grow on you the the way it did on me. I wasn't a huge fan first listen. Yeah. Other than uh, I liked the Ultra Cheese. I liked science fiction. I liked four out of five, and I liked the title track. Yeah, and uh, you liked the title track and four out of five. Yeah, I really so liked four out of five. Yeah, four out of five was uh, it was a five out of five for you. So. Yeah, five out of five. <laughs> um, I don't know. It might grow on you. It might not. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, hey, props to Alex Turner and the band for you know taking a risk. For sure, and you know, especially after AM, one of the most successful I know. records yeah. ever, to just say fuck it, I don't want to do another. They could have done fucking AM part two, yeah, fucking made a, a lot of money off some catchy rock yeah. songs, but that's true. They could have just went that way, right? But the, like again, you gotta you gotta take risks. Anyways, yeah, no, it was just it, it was it was all right. It didn't uh, didn't hit me. On the way that AM or or uh, no, favorite worst nightmare. No, those yeah, those those songs, those albums just rocked and and people have uh, hardcore AM fans have said go back to the first album. I don't know what, if you. Say I, I like the first album a lot. Yeah, it's, it's not my favorite. Um, yeah, and uh, but it's it's great. Yeah, like, I would say my favorite is this. Uh, yeah, and, out of all the albums, really. Yeah, yeah, I, I like it. I mean, I just like this one because I. I don't know. I've grown. It's grown to become my favorite just due to the concept, and I like the lyrical patterns. I like. Yeah, the, yeah. I like everything about it. But I was like you first listen, so yeah. I don't know. I mean, it might be one that you go back to. It might be one that you don't. But I knew <laughs> going into this reaction that it was going to be either a hit or miss. I knew, yeah, yeah, I knew yeah. it wasn't. This isn't one that I was like. I want to show you this because I know you're gonna love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to show you this. T- to be honest, I probably wouldn't have shown you this yeah. um, if we didn't already start Arctic Monkeys. Yeah. Um, because as much as I like it, you know, th- the channel's based on based off me liking an album and then wanting to show it to you yeah. because I think you'll like it too. Yeah. This is a case where I like the album, but I don't think you would like it. Yeah. yeah. Or I don't know if you would like it. No, know. no, I'm glad I'm glad we did it. Of course, we listened to it and that's that's it's been around here and it's been people have been Long asking for it for for a long time, right? Yes. But um yeah, I had fun regardless. I, I hope you had fun today. I didn't. No. Not no, no. zero. <laughs> well, I hope you guys had zero fun. fun. I showered for nothing. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's always fun being yeah, down here. It's always this. a good time. It's always um, a good time. I hope you guys had fun. Uh if you like the album, hopefully you uh got to see why other people don't like the album maybe i don't know <laughs> and if you don't like the album this video is perfect for you because you're yeah. like fuck i like this kevin i like this dad um no you got you got team team uh tranquility base on this side and uh team am favorite for sure yeah no, no but you side. know what you said hit or miss i'm a hiss your hiss yeah because it didn't like musicianship was top notch yes, yeah. production was top notch Turner's voice was top notch. Like he sings just the lyrical pattern. Just and the, the lyrics. just the lyrical pattern and the lyrics didn't work. I mean, it, if he would if he would have just on the on the, if he would have wrote just more conventional and then had that music there and then things were just a little bit more easy on the ear in terms of like familiarity, yeah. um, then it would be like fuck, this is great. Like mm-hmm. we're we're pulling into the great area, right? Um, but again, that's my opinion. It means nothing. So 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. So take care and uh, stay safe, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.